If you're new to fly fishing or an experienced angler, everybody knows about the caddis hatch. Today we're going to learn about the caddis flies you need to have in your box. All right, Tad, I've heard so much about caddis, 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 you know, in my short time in fly fishing. Tell me about the patterns I've got to have and why. So yeah, trout have a very hard time passing up on caddis, kind of any time of year, but definitely in those spring months and then again in the fall. Um, starting from the nymphs, um, there's kind of a handful of patterns that'll do well. One we don't have here, but we're gonna show it. It's the peeping caddis. Okay. Um, great, great starter, been around for forever, definitely tried and true. The next one's a more modern nymph and it is the waltz worm. Um, simple. It is literally dubbing, just some rabbit fur, you know, some maybe some artificial right. uh, replicas on, on a hook. Uh -huh. um, and simple as can be, trout love it, gets down to the bottom quick, definitely going to fish effectively. The next one with a, maybe a little bit more flash is this blowtorch. The blow, blow torch. Yeah, the blow torch. Okay. Yeah, cool name. Um, it's got a little tag on the end. It's going to kind of bring some trout from further away, maybe entice them a little bit more to eat the eat the bun um the next one this one might be on the cusp you know fringe for some is the mop fly um anywhere in the world where they they have october caddis those big caddis that hatch in the fall um the the nymphs on them look like little green grubs and they okay. get really big really juicy kind of green yellow hue um and a mop fly can be a good imitation if the mop fly imitates anything right that's a good way to go um, as we move on, as, as the caddis start to hatch, we're going to need some emerger patterns. Um, so the, fa the fish won't be, you know, the really splashy rises that you normally see with a caddis yeah. eat. They're going to be just below the surface. Um, uh, one good one is just a simple soft tackle. Soft tackle fly just under the surface, maybe at the surface. Um, but when they're starting to hatch, emerge out, that's a good way to go. The next is this kind of, it's a little half and half. You know, they make this a shuttlecock would be a mayfly variant okay. of this pattern, but um, it's a caddis imitation that has the same wings kind of coming out of the top end of the fly and will sit half above, half below the surface. Okay. So great, great one for a choosy. Then as they get a little bit bigger, they can start to get wings and all that. A good imitation is a CDC caddis. It has the same properties as, you know, the dry fly imitations except when made with cdc it allows it to sit a little bit lower in the water mm -hmm. so it's kind of that mid between a full dry fly and a merger so it's a good in between when they are getting picky right as we get into the dry flies you know there's some ones that kind of imitate a few things like a small stimulator here we have a little humpy um, another thing they're usually tied with bright colored bellies that really add some flash attract some fish you know on those days when they don't want to come up right. near as much but that's a good one and then we've got the tried and true elk hair caddis yeah this one doesn't matter who you are if you're getting into fly fishing own this fly you've got to have it, that one yeah m m plenty of different sizes plenty of, you know quite a few different colors anywhere from a size 20 to a size 12 okay um have a few of each of them um, and you'll get dialed in depending on kind of the caddis in your area, the sizes, you know, have more of those sizes and then you can start to cull maybe the size 20 or size 12s. Most of them will be in that 14 to 18 range. Okay. So what time of the year are we looking about, you know, trying to find this caddis hatch or is so, it something that goes year round? So at the beginning of the season in March, mm -hmm. you know, you'll start to have some black caddis emerge. They're smaller in size not as big as the bites where you really get into the those hatches that you hear about a lot yeah. are the mother's day caddis the granum caddis they're going to be in that 14 to 18 range depending on where you are um and that's where the elk care caddis you know really shines and right. some of these other mergers um that's the real goldilocks season and then again in october you'll get some more granum caddis the medium sized ones but you'll also get those october caddis which are much bigger so we're looking kind of a spring pattern and a fall pattern yes yes spring and fall you'll find a few in there but it in between but it won't be as big not to say these caddis patterns won't work in the summer months as well there but that's just when that's the summer. best time to yes play. that's the that's that that happy time right there well, it looks like i've got to get some more flies in my box then yep got to get these caddises in there oh definitely don't want to miss out on the caddis that's bites. awesome well i hope you guys learned something i certainly did if you like this content make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and click that notification bell we got a lot of other videos we'll put down in the links below and guys check out our live well podcast every thursday night from eight to ten 
We appreciate you, and we'll see you soon.